A CT is a scan where the patient receives ionizing radiation to produce images of the body. Um, an MRI is a machine where the patient's protons are interrogated non-invasively um, to also evaluate their anatomy. Uh, the MRI uses no ionizing radiation and is uh, much preferred for the evaluation of children and uh, parts of the body that shouldn't get ionizing radiation if possible, um, such as uh, the breast, such as um, the, the pelvis in female patients. What we need to do at all times is always find the answer for the patient's problem. Uh, and so that can be done with CT, it can be done with MRI. Um, what defines it is based on the particular clinical scenario that the patient finds themselves. Whether they're having pain, whether they're having a uh, problem, it, it really depends on that, whether we do an MRI or a CT. And so it comes down to a very patient-specific um, scenario. Um, but in general, a lot of things are done initially with CT, and then the patient ends up getting an MRI um, to better evaluate something that was found at CT. The MRI is better at delineating soft tissue uh, lesions and pathology than the CT scanner. Um, both of them, uh, for both of them, a patient receives a contrast administration for probably 90% of the scans that are done. Um, the CT has very, very good uh, in-plane resolution um, of small things, but the MRI scanner allows us better soft tissue resolution. So. Uh, the muscles and tendons, uh, ovaries, uterus, uh, heart, there are a lot of structures that are better seen and better delineated with MRI than with uh, a CT scanner. The other major difference between the two is quite simply uh, scan speed. Uh, a CT scanner in today's world, uh, an abdomen pelvis CT for example, will take on average about 15 seconds to do the entire scan, uh, whereas at an MRI to do the same imaging it's going to take closer to 45 minutes. And so it's a significant time difference. The patient physician will often recommend a typical type of exam in consultation with the radiologist and so they will recommend either a CT or MRI. Sometimes they'll recommend a CT to start out with and then they end up uh, coming to us. We take a look at what is going on with the patient. Uh, we assess the needs and our technologists assess the needs of the patient at the time of the scan and then try to make a decision what is best for the patient at the time of the scan. Knowing the strengths and weaknesses of each is the job of the radiologist and to be able to triage patients as to whether they should undergo an MRI or a CT or the specific reason why they they should uh, undergo the next test. Uh, it's all done in consultation with their uh, clinician, with the patient's doctor, um, but we do, we do work as best we can to try to figure out which scan is going to work for that patient. This is a state-of-the-art 1.5 Tesla MRI scanner. The opening is about the size of what a CT scanner is, and it's about as deep as what a CT scanner is. And so our incidence of claustrophobia is a lot less. Most patients say, yeah, I can have a CT scan. And then they say, ooh, an MRI, no, no, that's, that's a long, small bore. But when patients get into our room, they see that the window is, is quite bright, there's a lot of light in the room, and that the bore itself is a lot larger and smaller. So patients who are getting a knee MRI, for example, their knee is in the center of the scanner, but their head is outside the scanner. Their chest is outside the scanner, so they don't feel claustrophobic. We still get patients who have claustrophobia, um, but they generally do better in this scanner than they do in other scanners in the area. So it was, a, it was a, definitely a, a choice that we made because we wanted to be able to accommodate every one at Bellevue Medical Center who came to us for scans. The other important element is that given it's so much larger, we can accommodate larger patients as a result. Uh, the table can handle patients up to 550 pounds. And so there are a lot of patients who just because of a small abort can't get an MRI at all and that's a tremendous loss because we need to do an MRI on them to look at their lumbar spine for the reason of their pain, to look at their ankle to see if it's fracture or not. Uh, and so when we can accommodate more patients uh, uh, with those um, body uh, needs, we can and we're very happy to do so here.